Mohammed Ramiz Ahmed has the ability to focus his attention on doing something really well, while also having a broad vision that enables him to make his mark in very different fields. These are just some of the qualities that took him to the top three of this year's Mr. India essay competition. And Karishma went off to find out what motivated his approach to life. A born and bred Cape Tonian, Mohammed Ramiz Ahmed is trained in both hospitality management and graphic design. And there's plenty of evidence of his eye for layout and style in his online presence as a fashion blogger. Ramiz was putting the finishing touches to some fresh content when Karishma arrived. Hi Ramiz, how are you doing? Hey Karishma, I'm well, thanks, how are you? Very good, thank you. I see you're very busy working on your blog. Yes, I am. Can you tell me a bit about your blog and why you started it? Basically, I started my blog, A Gentleman's Wardrobe, three years ago. I wanted to create a space for all gentlemen to find their weekly style tips and tricks. Where did your love for fashion begin? I'd say from the very minute I was born. I'd like to consider myself a fashionable gentleman. How has your style evolved over the years? I have really broken out of my comfort zones and tried looks that I'd never ever thought I would wear before. Trying new things and enjoying every minute of it. Tell me a bit about how you go about creating content for your blog. I get my inspiration for my blog content from attending fashion shows all around the country as well as daily inspiration, even going to the mall and seeing what someone's wearing, getting an idea about what's trending, reading up on fashion designers, putting pen to paper and working on something. Well, I see you looking very cool today. What are you up to? You caught me on set. My photographer is bound to arrive now and we're going to be shooting a street style look. So why don't you join me? Fantastic. Could you take me through look one? Most certainly. So today I'm wearing a pair of white skinny jeans with a rip on the knee, a pair of high top sneaks, finished off with an extra length tee, a mustard jacket, a snapback hat. Well, I think you're looking really cool and I can't wait to see you work your magic. So should we get going? Sure, let's go. Ramiz is a Scorpio, so you'd expect him to be focused, brave, ambitious and intuitive. The image he projected for the photo shoot certainly appeared to confirm this profile. Okay, perfect. I'll meet you on the street for the next look. Okay, cool. I'll see you shortly. Look 2 moved from street to stylishly casual. This is such a chic and trendy look. I love those shoes. So Karishma, this outfit would work perfectly well for an engagement party. You are the runner-up for the Mr. India South Africa 2017 competition. Tell me a bit about that. Krishma, I applied in December of last year and I was lucky enough to come first runner-up. Now, during the competition, you really get put through your paces. What was that process like and what did you learn the most? There were a lot of pre-events, one being a cook-off, which was extremely exciting. That aspect of the competition is really, really awesome in the sense that not many guys take to the kitchen and it's a time to test our cooking abilities. Your first runner-up is Mohammed Ramiz. Do you think the competition was a turning point for you? Most definitely. And what I'm doing with the title, you'll soon get to know. Well, I think your photographer's ready, so I'll let you get back to it. Thank you so much. After striking a contemplative pose in his floral shirt, Ramiz then presented his interpretation of the classic smart casual look, geometrically defined. I want to see two. Wow, that looks so amazing. Are you happy? I'm loving it. Thank you so much. <laughs> you guys did a great job. Ramiz, you are also a very accomplished singer. Where did your love for singing begin and how did it turn into a career? Karishma, I started singing at the age of eight years old. I was honoured and blessed to open up the very first Sona Nigam concert in Cape Town. And ever since then, I've been loving it every step of the way. I've been performing at weddings and Sangeet evenings, birthday parties, all around town, as well as nationally. And it's been amazing. You also have your very first solo concert coming up. Yes, I do, Krishma. I'm ecstatic about it because I've always, always wanted to promote my own show. And this time I'm going solo. It's going to be an extremely amazing production. I'm planning something very, very different and I'm going to make it a show to remember. I'll actually be having my rehearsal shortly, so why don't you come in and join me? I'd love that. Let's Great. go. Let's go.
His repertoire covers a range of music from Ghazals and Kawali to contemporary Bollywood. And Ramiz is inspired by artists such as Rahat Fateh Khan, Arajit Singh and Sonu Nigam. That was absolutely incredible. Ramis, thank you so much for your time. I've so enjoyed getting to know you. Thank you so, so much, Karishma. It was lovely.